Rodda has taken my research and... The components you... These Dwemer devices. Now to begin, start by adding etheric power. Now, quickly. I need more kinetic power. Now, some tonal energy. Too quickly! Quickly, help Fedorian! We're losing kinetic energy. I need more! We need an influx of etheric power! I just need your help with the Night Hollow right. Just the tonal frequency, quickly! Just a little more! I'm losing control of it to reduce the kinetic energy! The Night Hollow Rite is surging! Help Gwendis! The tonal harmonics are in discord! Change the output! The Fenorian will need the alchemical reaction soon! Calibrate the etheric power. It's too little. The kinetic mechanism is off balance. Send it right. We're close. We help Gwendis with the Night Hollow right once more. Catalyze the reach alchemy now. Initiate a tonal cascade and hang on. I can see it! I can see everything! Rodder found it. A piece of land sundered from the reach, caught between Mundus and Oblivion. Don't you see? In their own realm, free from Molagbor's tyranny, the Grey Host can live forever. Uh, the Dark Home. To the Orrery. Hurry! Stand it all clearly now. Rodda, no. Not good at all. The Dark Storm requires power on an unprecedented scale. It will tear the Grey Host from Molag Bol's clutches and preserve them for eternity in his sanctuary realm. To end the Dark Storm, once it's begun, I need to enter Rodda's sanctuary realm and take control of the ritual. Rodder showed us the door, and we forged the key. I have to follow. I have to stop the Darkstorm, 
For as you have seen from Rodder's Oromancy, this Rodder has started the ritual in his sanctuary realm. Rodder aligned the orrery in order to make his escape. Use the keystone on the dwarven mechanism that control it, that should... I never intended my theories to be turned into reality. But my research into a way to grant mortals the same immortality as vampires kept leading down dark paths. I abandoned it. When you're ready, activate the mechanisms on each of those platforms in sequence. Rodder has already aligned the device to point to our destination. Saran's desire, I mean. I'd be lying if I said no. But the price of salvation is too high. You and my father will see this through. I'll do all I can to keep the orrery in alignment. But I don't know how. I'm fairly certain the dwarves built this as an observatory to chart the void. This is it, then. Everything that happened in Windhelm. Solitude. Markarth. More than ready. I've sworn my blade to thrones and causes, but my blood and bones are Nord. Try to scare me off? I know what we're getting into. Can't say I'm looking forward to another romp in Oblivion. You're really just going to hurl yourselves through the void and hope for the best? I was really hoping Varadas had something tricky up his sleeve. You better. The only reason I'm agreeing to stay behind is because you're going with him. I... Well, this is it. Now you sound like Verandas before a trip. We are about to travel into the unknown. I... No. I have worked all my life to atone for the hubris of my first years as a vampire. Rodder went to great lengths to remind me of my damnation. <laughs> Those words keep returning to haunt me. They never fail to make me feel uh, foolish. The portal into the dark heart. I expect you back before Valoria gets bored. Don't make me come in there after you. We shall endeavor to return shortly. Tell me, my friends. I don't want to fight you! Look at you, Verandis. The Dark Heart is overwhelming. I want that? to as you... Voices in the uh, storm. Uh, uh. Do you really embrace death? I forgive you, Verandis. Verandis is in Didn't trouble. Turn your back we have to hurry. Uh, Brother. Salvation is in our 
Not even Mola Don't Ball you can threaten us. Don't you dare. The Grey Host will be an unstoppable force. Nothing will be beyond our reach. Rodda, your dream was never mine. It ends here. Verandis, we are nearly free. Verandis! Join our forsaken kin in Molotov's teeth, you traitor! What? Did I destroy everything you cherish? Oh, I'm going to ensure you keep your distance. in bitter blood. You will taste it soon. A frigid death is more merciful than you deserve. Drown in the blood of your protectors.
moment. Lead Rodas to me. My death will be the least of our worries. Thoughts! Power! It's everything Rodder said it would be! You and Lyris must go. I can only control the Darkstorm from here. I understand now what must be done to stop it. Not any that can make everything right. This is 
farewell. I don't want to owe you, Verandas. Have faith. Roda's last gift was hope. Storm. Arana? <gasps> I... I can breathe. I'm alive. I'm no illusion. Flesh and blood. I can't say myself. I remember being here. I couldn't see. Ever as I live and breathe, it was Verandas who led me here. There were a great many others thrown in in that icy current. I'm certain I wasn't the only one pulled ashore. You did what you thought was best, and the price I paid has been returned. Markarth, that's... Did I hear you right? Verandas brought that woman back to life? Not just... Was that what the Count meant by making it right? He didn't just stop the Dark Storm. He used it to free the souls from the Dark Heart. Isn't that where Rada Al Saran harvested souls for the Dark Heart? You go on ahead. Ben and Gwendis could use a moment. Just bringing one person back should be impossible. Sort of do. That magnificent bastard really did it. The Count enjoyed his mysteries, but yeah, I think so. We rest. With Rada al Saran dead, the Grey Host is finally buried for good. We couldn't have done it without you, partner. It may seem odd coming from a Nord, but I'm glad to see all these Reach folk alive and well. News of Rada al Saran's death won't compare to the dead returning to life. But I'm sure Kadok will be relieved to hear it. Why spoil the mood? Just fine. to the keep again. Ha! That's your doing, isn't it? The Ard seems to think so. He'll want to see you. He's holding an audience in his war room right now. What's this about a war room? Ah, you're here too, she... Titanborn. You come with me. I have a message for your ears alone. Fine. But if this is Kadok's idea of a joke, you won't find it. We are agreed. If Eastern and Western Skyrim can put aside their differences in the face of the Grey Host, then the Reach can do so as well. Come forward, free hand. No need to bow for the sake of kings. 
Looking for another adventure, my friend? You need to learn to relax for a while. Eat! This business with a gray host is far from over. That's the reach is far from everyone's holdings. This gray host business started with me, though. And I, I do. She's an impressive young woman. Is Western Skyrim ready for Swana? That's... I have no desire to replace a despot. Haven't these people suffered enough? In any... Shores bones. Why does everyone insist on seeing ulterior motives behind every kind act? Can't you... You seem more comfortable standing among kings and jarls than I do. Then again, you always did. Western Skyrim has begun to recover. With Fen's elixir, our soldiers have been able to push back the Grey Host. I expected we'd be sending soldiers, but by the time we arrived, the people were dancing in the streets. I always heard stories of the City of Stone being a dark place where flint-hearted reachmen worship strange gods. The people seem happier than I've ever seen, in spite of all our hardships. I wasn't the only one living under my father's shadow, apparently. Made him my royal taster. I don't think the thought of being poisoned even crossed his mind, but... He seems happy, so long as the food and drink keeps coming. Thank the gods we have better matters to attend to than the deployment of troops and suspicions of treachery. Truthfully, Spana, when we learned that Markarth suffered an attack like the one you narrowly prevented in solitude, she insisted that we offer aid. No doubt. They have proved very skilled at keeping to the shadows and biding their time. The Greyhost's greatest weapon against us was our mutual mistrust. An accord at least. It's just trust takes time to build, but we must start somewhere. I couldn't have done it without Svana. Uh, uh, Jarl Svana. Well, yes, I do. She's a striking woman. A, a, a figure. Leader. Yeah. She's won many hearts and minds in the short time she's been a Jarl. He doesn't want another war on his hands, and the Western Holds still desire their independence. If you had said only yesterday I'd play host to Nord rulers from across old Skyrim, I'd have told you that dead would live again before that happened. <sighs> and here we are. At last! The monster that nearly brought my lands to ruin has paid the price for his wrongs. Hmm. Then, his name and deeds will echo these halls for as long as I sit upon the throne, which we treat. For peace. Our battles with the Grey Host have ravaged all our kingdoms and peoples. I've need of a counselor. In spite of her treachery, Lady Belain was a canny advisor. I need that again now, more than ever. I, I suppose so. Can't just lop off her head after she got it back. It's a worthy holdfast, but... Not so much a city. I would have the land worked, the stone repaired, and the... Hmm, well, they're a fair lot more agreeable than the she-wolf you travel with. Have the sense to show deference to a king in his own hall. Though I heard enough honeyed words from the Lady Belain for one lifetime. Pfft, <laughs> scald king. Nonsense. Every now and then comes a king of his kind. The past would tell me to hate Svartigrim's whelp with all my vigor. We battled and bled for more generations. <laughs> I heard Yorin sired the boy when he was young, but looking at the pair, I have a hard time saying who's father and who's whelp. <sighs> My ears are burning. Is that... Not even this gloomy old stone keep can dampen my spirits. I'm barely foot to stone and he's clamoring for my attention. I had no mind to stand by a throne when I first started my journey. Now... I can speak for myself. You have more important matters to attend to. There's a... There's an out-of-the-way chamber in the rear of the keep where you can meet. Now, I should find the art and make sure he thinks before he speaks. <laughs> I... I can't.
I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, my friend. It seems I spoke too soon when I bade you a final farewell. As did I. When I took hold of the Darkstorm's power, I believed it would be the last thing I ever did. No. As the last of the Dark Heart's power ebbed away, I should have been trapped in Rodder's sanctuary realm. But I was forced out. My soul became part of the Dark Heart, smelted inextricably into the fabric of its existence. If I am to be wed to this power, then I must ensure that it never gets used again. For that to happen, both the heart and I must fade into obscurity. I have no regrets. You gave me the opportunity to reckon with my past and pay penance. I have no idea what the future holds, but you seem to be the axis upon which this world turns. Arana said they'd be this way. Come on. Father! You... They said you were gone. I was, and I will be again. We have much to discuss, but I will not be returning to House Ravenwatch. But... Uh, who will... You three have no more need of a guardian. It's time I put the future of the Ravenwatch in your hands. But you'll still visit, right? Every chance I get. They said Barandis was imprisoned in the void, but he's here. Uh, forgive, Adusa. There was a time when this one felt more like a nursemaid than compatriot to those two. But when House Ravenwatch has a long and noble tradition, this... Here and gone, here and gone. It's cruel to play with a girl's heart like this. Great, terrible, everything in between. I've waited so long for Verandas to stop hovering over my shoulder. I can't shed tears for him. It's not what he needs from me. He needs someone to carry on after him. To do the work he can't anymore. Don't think it's just Verandas I expect to visit. It'd be nice bumping into you somewhere other than a moldy cavern once in a while. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to give Verandas an earful. I think I heard the odd... I don't know what I expected when Arana said there was someone waiting to see us, but I never... Uh, no, no, I... Right. I didn't imagine it. Your endorsement gives me confidence. Though we were hoping you'd consider joining our ranks, officially. Welcome to the Raven Watch. I suppose that makes me your superior now. You're to endure as much of the cheer and praise as the Ard and his people can heap upon you. Remember, you're representing House Ravenwatch now. I thought you might enjoy a welcome surprise for once, Snow Lily. Oh, Sai. You always know how to... Oh, uh, hello, partner. Ah, there you are. I hope you don't mind, I got a bit sidetracked. Braden said there was a strange red guard looking for me. When I laid... I'd say being home has been nice, but you know I'd be lying. The Scald King owes me some rest. People like us can't stay out of trouble very long. So let's... I haven't, but I'm sure you can keep them busy for a while longer. Right, partner? It's been some time since our paths last crossed. I'm happy to see you again. I had long planned to visit Skyrim and learn about their long history with the dragons. Rada Alceron was an Anse of great renown. A legend. Lyris has promised to show me some of the dragon cult's ruins and barrows. Finally! Not a moment too soon. Kadak's eager to demonstrate that he's the equal of any Nord King. He hopes it will legitimize his claim as King of the Reich. That I am. It's a new dawn. For me, 
for Markarth, for the Rage. <laughs> Let's not stretch the bones of Raisin. There'll be no... Fair adventurers. <laughs> Come and go as you please. Keep three kings and a Jarl biding on their thumbs in a crowded hall. <laughs> Suppose you've earned that right, Rover. Simply put, I... I like that. In doing what needed doing, you brought all the crowns of Skyrim to one hall. You put the Grey Host back in the ground, and it gave us clear skies. Free hands of Markarth! You long-suffering lot, I call my kin! We've survived another long night, darker than we've ever known. But we did nay endure it alone. Against the Grey Host we found unlikely allies and put aside old grudges. Together, we not only survived, we flourished. We owe these miracles to the efforts of all kinds. Reachman, Nord, Vampire, Outlander, heroes of every stripe. Let us follow their example. We have warred together, we celebrate together, let us rebuild together. From this day forward, we clash mugs instead of swords. Peace and prosperity to all our kingdoms. Cheers to the heroes of Skyrim. Let us remember them with song and drink. We, the children of Skyrim, we shall endure.